Hey, James Wise with Holton Wise. Today I am standing inside of the upstairs unit in an awesome old Brooklyn duplex that's gonna bring us $14.50 in rent. Let's dive in. Four four three three Ardmore, Cleveland, four four one zero nine. That is the old Brooklyn neighborhood. If you've been watching our content, you should know that Holton Wise has a higher density in the old Brooklyn neighborhood than any other neighborhood in the greater Cleveland area. This is a very solid C-class working neighborhood and our rentals provide so much cash flow in this area. We are literally killing it in this area. This property coming to you at 74,900. This unit is gonna require a little bit of work. The seller dabbles in real estate investments on the side, so he has done a decent amount of stuff for us, but we are gonna need to take it to the next level to get top rents. Now this is the living room, it's nice. He's already repainted it, so we don't have to mess with that. These hardwood floors, I wanna put a nice poly coat on them. As you can see down here, we still got the tack strips. It looks like he must have had carpet in here for the last tenant. What we want to do now though, is we want to keep these hardwoods. We're not going to put carpet here again. We're going to do a nice poly coat. So if tenants ever bring in dogs or cats, or let's face it, sometimes kids or the adult tenants themselves. Sometimes, you know, pee, juice, beer, pop, whatever gets spilled. We don't want you replacing carpet every single time. So we're gonna bite the bullet up front and totally refinish these, totally put that poly so these floors are gonna last you. Every single turnover, you're gonna save an additional $1,000. are not gonna touch those floors. We're not gonna be spending $1,000 replacing carpet between tenants. We're gonna do it once and it's gonna be done. Other than that, the paint, it looks great, okay? Now these hardwoods, these are very classic old hardwoods. What I personally prefer to do is to whitewash these hardwoods, but we could leave them as is and still achieve the price point that I wanna hit. And the price point I wanna hit is gonna be $700 a month. Here's one of the bedrooms right here. We got some pretty cool French doors. I want you to remember what these French doors look like because that's gonna come into play when we go downstairs and how we're gonna turn that unit, which is currently a two bedroom, we're gonna turn that into a three bedroom, just like this bedroom right here. All right, so you got your one nice bedroom, you got your living room right here. We come over here, you know, this is just additional space, guys. This is just a gigantic dining room. I mean, this is a huge unit. We got the second bedroom right in here. Swing it over here, very simple. We got the bathroom, which he has already done some work to. So this bathroom, more or less, we don't have to do too much. He's already painted it, the paint looks great. You know, the sink fixture, that's cool. The toilet works. You can leave the toilet if you want, but I don't want you to, I don't recommend it. I mean, it's up to you, but for an additional couple hundred bucks, we can install a brand new toilet, which is gonna use considerably less water than this current toilet does. Not to mention the guts inside this toilet are old. The wax ring is probably old. So by leaving this toilet, what it's gonna essentially guarantee you is a higher water bill, number one, and number two, more likely for us to have to come out and do a service call. So why we're doing some work to get this unit spruced up, why we're refinishing those floors over there and these floors that we're standing on that go from the bathroom here to the kitchen. I wanna replace these floors and put some vinyl allure flooring. Let's just pop that toilet, you know, save you some money down the road. Just like we're saving you money down the road by not putting carpet in this unit. Now we end up in the kitchen. Last room I wanna show you in this upstairs unit. More or less, the kitchen's pretty nice but I wanna cosmetically make it nicer. Like I said, we're gonna do those new vinyl allure floors and then you know this old looking woodwork right here. We don't have to replace this, but I do wanna paint this white. I wanna give it the same look that you got in that bathroom. And these countertops, these are fine. You know, for an additional thousand bucks, we could upgrade them to an even nicer countertop and we could swap out these knobs for something silver. And by doing all of that, guys, we're gonna easily achieve $700 a month in rent for this unit. It's got a nice little porch on the outside. I want you to take a look at that and then I'm gonna meet you downstairs. Now, here 
here is the kitchen for the downstairs unit. What is cool about this kitchen, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to touch anything. Look at these cabinets. I mean, this guy, he's already put in. You know, these are some nice, solid cabinets, modern color. We got modern looking hardware. The floor, it's already modern. Countertops, these are fine, these are great. No issues with this. Now, this unit, outside of not having to touch the kitchen like we did upstairs, this thing's gonna have an extra special surprise. You remember those French doors that I liked upstairs? I wanna show you something. We walk through the living room right here, we get into this little side room, looks pretty similar to what we saw upstairs. All we gotta do is put some French doors in, just like we had upstairs, and this is gonna become our third bedroom. So upstairs, two beds, one bath, we're getting 700. Down here, after we put some French doors on, we now have a three bedroom. So all we're doing downstairs is we're just gonna refinish the floors here and here. We don't have to touch it in the kitchen. This bedroom, we wanna go ahead and just pull this carpet out, refinish this as well. We don't have to repaint, he's already done the painting. And again, as far as the hardwoods go, I, I like to refinish them white, I usually do. Uh, and upstairs, we probably might want to do that. But down here, I really don't think it makes any sense because these hardwoods, you know, they got like a nice amber looking color to them and they match the cabinetry. And honestly, I mean, you know, I've been a lot of these old Brooklyn duplexes and I think this cabinetry in this particular kitchen, this is probably one of the nicer kitchens I've ever seen. I mean, there's just a ton of space in here that you normally don't see. Just, you know, nice built-ins. You can tell the tenants that this guy's had in this property have taken care of it. So. Really, nothing you have to do in the kitchen. One thing you could do that I like people to do, you know, I love for investors to harden their units, guys. Just like with the carpet, you know, we harden that. We make your costs lower. What I like to do, here is a gas line, okay? This is for a gas stove. Now, in a unit like this, totally normal for tenants to bring their own appliances. So you don't have to supply a gas stove. But what I like to do, what I do in all the properties that I own, when I have a gas line, I replace that, okay? I do not give them the option to hook up a gas stove. I go electric. Why? Because it's a lot easier to burn your house down with a gas stove than it is with an electric stove. Think about it. Your tenants, they're having some friends over. Maybe they're having a party. Somebody's sitting on the stove like this. You know, they hit that nozzle, the gas is going, gas is pumping into your house. Is that something that happens frequently? No, absolutely not. Even if it's a small risk, we do have the ability to remove that risk from this equation. This is real estate investing, guys. There is an unlimited amount of variables at play at all times. So whenever we have the opportunity to remove one of those variables, that in the long run is gonna lead you to a higher ROI in your investment career. So. Not necessary, but I do recommend you do that. What is gonna be necessary though, is gonna be pulling up this carpet and refinishing it just like we're doing the living room, just like we're doing upstairs. And then finally over here, the bathroom. The bathroom looks great. He's already done everything with the bathroom. You know, the shower surround is good. The fixture for the sink is good. Same thing, I recommend another optional item. I would upgrade that toilet to reduce potential service calls and also reduce your water bill. And let's pop out of this bathroom right into the last room I wanna show you in this unit, the third bedroom. What the owner did, I like this, he exposed this brick. This look is in right now. This is what tenants wanna see, guys. That's why we do the upgraded flooring. That's why we do the modern fixtures. That's why we refinish everything. We use gray paint like you have in here. We wanna hit the tenants with what's modern, what's new, and exposed brick is in right now. That's why we're gonna get $750 in rent. I want you guys to go downstairs, take a look at all the mechanicals. As you'll see, they're a little bit older, but they are all working. Those are gonna be capital expenditures. Those are gonna be things that you're gonna to need to factor in. Do you have to replace any of those right now here today? No, you do not. But in the next five or six years, you're probably gonna have to replace those because your furnaces, they're gonna last you 30 to 40 years. Hot water tanks are gonna last you about 15. Your roof is gonna last you about 30 years. This property has a slate roof. So those things, if you're doing regular maintenance, they're gonna last you a very, very long time. He just got that slate roof serviced. So as far as I am told, I am aware, that slate roof is in great condition and you're gonna have 10, 15 plus years out of that roof. We're gonna write all offers contingent on inspection. So we're gonna go ahead and refer to your inspector to give you more detail on that.
All right, so that's the entire house. If you would like to make an offer on this house, click the link above or below me, or send me an email directly to jameswise at holtonwise.com. A few things to know. I am going to have multiple offers on this property. We're talking about $1,450 in rent for a price point of $75,000. I've went through what you need to put into it to get that price point, everything I've went through. Refinishing the hardwoods, pulling a little bit of carpet, repainting that kitchen, a little bit of hardware in that kitchen upstairs. Down here, you don't really have to touch it, but I do want to replace the gas stove hookup with electric stoves. I'd like to replace two toilets. All told, we're probably in the 6,000 to 6,500 price range. For more information on how to get an exact bid from the Holton Wise renovation team, go ahead and click the video I've linked into right here. That will go over everything. Note that we're not gonna be able to give you a full line by line bid before you purchase it. Because guys, literally, I'm, I'm gonna have a line of buyers who've worked with Holton Wise in the past. And they know when I make these videos and I give you that ballpark, that ballpark is gonna come out pretty close. So know that you need to budget in 6,000 to 6,500. We'll get you that exact line by line bid after you purchase the property. When making an offer, make sure you have your pre-approval letter ready or your proof of funds. You see, Holton Wise, we're the complete turnkey solution. We can help you buy the property. We have lenders who will loan you money to buy the property. Once it closes, we have referrals for insurance agencies who will insure the property. Holton Wise will handle all the property management, maintenance, construction. We have referrals to title companies. So when you purchase this property, you know you're getting clear title. You don't have any of that to worry about. And then one day when you want to move on, maybe you want to 1031 this investment into a bigger and better investment. I am the number one seller in the entire Cleveland market. I will market this video for you in a video just like this video and help you sell your property for top dollar because I have a national even worldwide buyer base. My buyers are not limited to the Cleveland area. Many of you watching this video right now are probably in California, a lot of folks out in New York. I have folks as far away as Israel who are coming to Cleveland and buying investment properties because the cash flow in the Cleveland market is second to none and Holton Wise is your number one source for those investment opportunities because we have that turnkey solution. I am James Wise. If you want to find out more about me and my personal story, how I turned my first investment property into a management portfolio valued over $50 million, you can follow me on my personal Instagram, at James Wise, HWPG. I posted that account every single day showing you what life of a full-time real estate investor, broker, and entrepreneur is like. This business isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it gets downright savage. And that's what that page and this YouTube channel are for. We show you the good, the bad, the ugly. We provide you investment opportunities just like this. We also fill this channel up with educational content. Hop around, check out our other videos, either here on YouTube or on our website, holtonwise.com. Take a look at everything we have to offer. Subscribe to our mailing list so you can get an investment opportunity and educational video sent to you every single day at 1 p.m. As always, I'm James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Why don't you woo? I didn't know where to point. <laughs> Here is a gas line. Okay. Oh my god!